Haraldson? Excused. Harshman? Excused. Heiner? Here. Henderson? Here. Hornick? Here. Jennings? Here. Knapp? Knapp? Excused. Larson Lloyd? Here. Larson JT? Excused. Lolly? Here. Locke? Present. Nyman? Here. Newsom? Excused. Nicholas? Here. Nemec? Here. Northrop? Here. Oakley? Here. Obermuller? Here. O'Hearn? Here. Olson? Excused. Ottman? Excused. Pendergraft? Here. Penn? Here. Provenza? Here. Rodriguez Williams? Here. Sherwood? Here. Singh? Here. Slegel? Present. Smith? Here. Stith? Here. Storer? Excused. Strock? Here. Stivar? Present. Tarver? Here. Trujillo? Here. Walters? Here. Ward? Here. Washett? Here. Western? Here. Winter? Here. Wiley? Excused. Yin? Excused. Zwanitz or Dan? Excused. Zwanitz or Dave? Here. Speaker Summers? Here. So obviously we're missing some members, so a lot of times if you kept track of that, you can tell that all of committee number seven was out off the floor. In the past, we've been able to just kind of hold the roll call until the committees get back in, but with the new roll call computer system that for some reason doesn't, doesn't work right, so or you can't do that little function, so we'll just excuse folks and go on. And um, I don't know if there's a way to rectify that when they come back in. Obviously, when they vote, they'll be back in the system, but um, that's kind of, the, kind of the way that will be. And, uh, now we have been joined by uh, uh, Reverend Melinda Bobo of St. Andrews in the Pines Episcopal Church in Pinedale, Wyoming, and she will give our prayer of the day. And I just want to say that the road she was going to be here for yesterday, and the roads were closed, and she couldn't couldn't make it. And I appreciate her appreciate uh, her coming a long way to do this for me. So, thank you. You'd please rise. Let us pray. Great and glorious God, we are so thankful that you have brought us here this day in the midst of the beauty of your creation. We thank you for the gift of water, that essential piece of Wyoming's ecosystem. We thank you for all the gifts that you have given us. But most of all, we thank you for the gift of leadership possessed by all those who have shown their willingness to be here today. We ask you that this day you pour your wisdom upon them so that as they shape this legislative term, they become your hand at work in the world, doing your will, bringing your justice, revealing your mercy, and embodying your love. Lord God, we know that the situations that humans create for themselves are complex, but we also know that the solutions are always to be found in you. Enable us to lay down the wisdom of the world, which can be flawed, and embrace your wisdom which is always grounded in love. Let us never forget any of those who are your children. You always remind us of the least, the poor, the hungry, the destitute, the widowed, the orphaned, those ill and imprisoned. We ask that you always Keep them at the center of the decision-making here because they are also our people. 
open our hearts, open our minds to the right choices, to the choices that strengthen your people from the ground up so that everyone who lives in this beloved state may enjoy the blessings that you pour out with such abundance. We give thanks for all that you have given us. We give thanks for your light that lives within each and every one of us. And we ask that in this session to come and in this entire legislative experience, you shine the light of your grace and your love and your hope for the world so that it may shine from this capital throughout this state and throughout the world. This we pray, O oh great and loving God, in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Bobo. We'll now do the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now there's a, here I see committee number seven coming in. You know, uh, this is the normal time when we, we have what we used to call play ball and, uh, and then it was kind of interrupted by COVID and play ball was the opportunity. We'd take a little break for about 10 or 15 minutes to just walk around and greet each other. And, and I think it's a practice we should continue. And so uh, at some point uh, in the really near future, I'll designate somebody that will, will kind of yell out, play ball. And then we'll get up and we'll greet each other every morning and, and uh, with, with the warmth that we should, right? I think, it's, I think it's really important. We often sit in different places in this body and we never mix around enough to really, to really get to visit. So, so anyway, that, I think we'll try that out and see how it works and see if the time allows us. Uh, journal committee report. Your journal committee reports that the journal of January 10th, 2023 has been read and recommends that it be approved. Representatives Ward and Chestick. The doctor of the day is Dr. John Winter from Cheyenne. Is he in the back back there or is that just the designated doctor of the day? Well, let's just give him a hand anyway. All right, messages from the Senate. We do not have any. So now we're at that order of business of introduction, reading, and reference of bills. The first bill our, for our consideration is House Bill 10. House Bill 10, sponsored by Judiciary. First reading of the bill. County officers, bond amounts, and surety requirement. House Bill number 10 is referred to committee number one, Judiciary. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 11. House Bill 11, sponsored by Judiciary. First reading of the bill. State Park Rangers, retirement. House Bill number 11 is referred to committee number one, Judiciary. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 51. House Bill 51, sponsored by Management Council. First reading of the bill. Legislator, constituent service allowance. House Bill 51 is referred to Committee number two, um, appropriations. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 53. House Bill 53, sponsored by Management Council. First reading of the bill. State officials, compensation commission. House Bill number 53 is referred to committee number two, appropriations. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 58. House Bill 58, sponsored by Revenue. First reading of the bill. Cigarette tax. House Bill number 58 is referred to committee number three, Revenue. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 80. House Bill 80, sponsored by Revenue. 
First reading of the bill. Medical Treatment Opportunity Act, Medicaid Reform. House Bill 80 is referred to committee number three, Revenue. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 31. House Bill 31, sponsored by Education. First reading of the bill. BOCES as local education agencies. House Bill number 31 is referred to committee number four, Education. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 33. House Bill 33, sponsored by Education. First reading of the bill. School finance, career technical education grants. House Bill 33 is referred to committee number four, education. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 20. House Bill 20, sponsored by agriculture. First reading of the bill. Land exchanges, priority. House Bill 20 is referred to committee number five, agriculture. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 21. House Bill 21, sponsored by Agriculture. First reading of the bill. State lands, use of land qualification requirements. House Bill 21 is referred to committee number five, Agriculture. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 74. House Bill 74, sponsored by Travel. First reading of the bill. Wyoming Outdoor Recreation Trust Fund. House Bill 74 is referred to committee number six, travel. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 76. House Bill 76, sponsored by Representative Zwanitzer Dan. House Bill, first reading of the bill. <laughs> Licensing board amendments. House Bill 76 is referred to committee number six, travel. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 3. House Bill 3, sponsored by corporations. First reading of the bill. State assessment of independent power producers. House Bill 3 is referred to committee number seven, corporations. The next bi bill for our consideration is House Bill 47. House Bill 47, sponsored by corporations. First reading of the bill. Election equipment, federal certification. House Bill 47 is referred to committee number seven, corporations. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 38. House Bill 38, sponsored by transportation. First reading of the bill. Wyoming National Guard member referral. House Bill 38 is referred to committee number eight, transportation. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 41. House Bill 41, sponsored by transportation. First reading of the bill. Lightweight trailers, permanent registration. House Bill 41 is referred to committee number eight, transportation. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 42. House Bill 42, sponsored by transportation. First reading of the bill. Off-road recreational vehicle operation. House Bill number 42 is referred to committee number nine, minerals. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 62. House Bill 62, sponsored by Minerals. First reading of the bill. Open banking. House Bill 62 is referred to committee number nine, Minerals. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 18. House Bill 18, sponsored by Tribal. First reading of the bill. Missing persons alert systems. House Bill number 18 is referred to committee number 10, Labor. The next bill for our consideration is House Bill 81. House Bill 81, sponsored by Representative Larson Lloyd. First reading of the bill. Hospital supplemental payments, statutory fix. House Bill 81 is referred to committee number 10, Labor. Okay, so now we have uh, reports from standing committees. House Bill 9, sponsored by Judiciary, Juvenile Courts, Concurrent Jurisdiction Clarification, an act relating to juveniles. Mr. Speaker, your committee number one, Judiciary, to whom is referred House Bill 9, Juvenile Courts, Concurrent Jurisdiction Clarification, respectfully reports same back to the House with a recommendation that it do pass with the following amendments. Eyes, Representatives Chestick, Crago, 
Haroldson, Jennings, Nemec, Oakley, Provenza, Rodriguez Williams, Washett. Representative Washett, Chairman. House Bill 13, sponsored by Judiciary, Office of Guardian Ad Litem, Program References, an Act Relating to Children. Mr. Speaker, your Committee Number One Judiciary, to whom is referred House Bill 13, Office of Guardian Ad Litem, Program References, respectfully reports same back to the House with the recommendation that it do pass. Eyes, Representatives Chestick, Crago, Haroldson, Jennings, Nemec, Oakley, Provenza, Rodriguez Williams, Washit. Representative Washit, Chairman. Thank you. So this is the time, a couple of things on this just for all the new members. So in order for a bill to be heard in Committee of the Whole and to get on general file, it has to be read in at it after it comes out of committee. So once you hear that read in at a committee, then it is available to the majority floor leader once it goes online, and uh, it's available to the majority floor leader to, to have for a committee of the whole. And then also after reports from standing committees, if any committee chairman that had uh, been involved in that, in that uh, standing committee report that needed a re-referral, that would be the time for you all to go to the mic and ask it to be re-referred, which is usually a re-referral to appropriations because it had an appropriations. That's 99% of the time when you hear a re-referral is what it's about. Once in a while, a committee will punt and say, I would rather refer, refer this bill to judiciary, for example. And so that's, that's the process. Um, this is going to be a, sh a short day. We're kind of in and we're going to be out. And uh, we are uh, going to have our whole house caucus. But I think, um, I think, Chief Clerk, that clears the deck, right? Mr. Majority Floor Leader. Oh, Representative Harrelson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Privilege of the floor. Please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Up here in the gallery, I have a constituent and her family. Catherine Stephen and her kids are here today. And uh, just if we give them a round of applause, they're wanting to see the process of legislation. Hey! Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Welcome to the House, and thank you for coming. And, uh, and that was a good reminder from, by Representative Haroldson that that is my blind, that is the blind one, because I'm too short in the chair to see that mic very good. So, well, with that. Um, oh, nope. Oh, Representative Northrop. Privilege of the floor, Mr. Speaker. Please. All right, I have an announcement. Um, it's a congratulations to some students with the Wyoming eight community colleges to share their story of determination and success. The Wyoming Business Alliance recognizes these students for how they've been able to transform their lives through their experience with the Wyoming community colleges and how their efforts are shaping the future of Wyoming. Last night, these students were recognized at the Wyoming Business Alliance reception with the Wyoming Association of Community College Trustees and a unique partnership between the two associations representing business and industry and our community colleges. They're not here right now, but please let me read their names. It was Paige Gyle from Laramie Community College, Sarah Roberts from Northwest College, Olivia Wassink from Gillette College, Eric Trueblood from Sheridan College, Jose Martinez from Western Community College, Marcella Cabrillo from Casper College, and Maria Deckert from Central Wyoming College, and Ryan Swain from Eastern Wyoming College. Let's give them all a big hand for their effort. Yeah! All right, are there any other privileges of the floor? If not, Mr. Majority Floor Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move the House adjourn until 10 a.m. tomorrow, January the 12th. Committee announcements. Representative Bur Chairman Brown. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tomorrow, your committee number eight, Transportation, Highways, and Military Affairs, will meet at the noon recess about 15 minutes afterwards. Grab yourself some lunch in our normal room, uh, room three, and we'll be discussing two bills, Space Force Amendments, House Bill 36, and House Bill 39, verifying the veteran designation on a Wyoming driver's license. Chairman Burkhart. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Your committee number nine, Minerals, Business, and Economic Development, will meet at 7.30, Friday morning, uh, the 13th of January, uh, to take up two bills, uh, House Bill 42, Off-Road Recreational Vehicle Operation, House Bill 62, Open Banking, and the first half hour will be a presentation uh, on the state of the oil and gas industry in Wyoming. So uh, the bills themselves will be taken up at eight o'clock. Chairman Eklund. Mr. Speaker, your committee number five will meet at eight o'clock tomorrow morning to cover and work uh, House Bill 16 and 17. Chairman Nicholas. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, your Joint Appropriations Committee will meet on adjournment. We will continue the explanation of the amendments to the supplemental budget as well as review of um, LSO draft 409, which has to do with capital construction and the, uh, I got that wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, 509, which is, has to do with 160 million for uh, federal funds being freed up um, and the local governments. Tomorrow at 8 a.m., we will have the presentation of the consensus revenue estimating group um, and on, if we have additional time or continuing on adjournment, we will do the American Rescue Plan appropriation, which is um, draft number 409 and state fund capital construction, um, which is um, 410. Chairman Newsom. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, Travel, Recreation, Wildlife and Cultural Resources will meet tomorrow at noon and we are discussing um, House Bill 48, Active Transportation um, Grant Program, as well as House Bill 52, the Revisor's Bill. Chairman Harshman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Your committee number three revenue will meet tomorrow in room number three in the Capital Extension, uh, and that will be at 9 a.m. We will meet uh, earlier for uh, another session, but not to make any policy, but really to go over materials. And But uh, we will meet in public for our public meeting to, to uh, hear bills, House Bill number 64, Legislative Stabilization Reserve Account Obligations, and House Bill 65, 988, Suicide Prevention. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. So once again, you'll see some bills, you know, for example, I think one of the, the last chairman, one of those bills is a probably a cap fin bill or something. And I think it was something he'd had in the interim. So that's probably, that's why I put it, I know that's why I put it to that committee. So, and then uh, our once on, upon adjournment, we will have our whole house caucus. And, uh, and then that will be followed by house rules. And during the whole house caucus, um, LSO will give a, a presentation on the updates to the Wyoming Manual of Legislative Procedures. We are gonna hold off on bringing that piece to uh, basically to joint rules and we, we'll, we'll have another house rules after that. We're gonna hold off a week to give everybody a chance to, to look over those revisions to the manual a little more and uh, get a little better idea what's going on and be able to ask more questions. And so we'll back off a, a week on that and uh, so there, just to explain, and I'll explain it in house rules, but I think everybody's here right now. Some of the, some of the amendments to house rules that are kind of out there were related to the manual. Those that are related to the manual will just lay aside. Um, obviously somebody could bring them if they wanted to, but they're not imperative. I mean, once we pass the manual, if we pass a update to the manual, um, we could always pass those amendments another year. It really wouldn't matter on that on that end. So that's kind of the that's kind of the order of business. Um, so you've heard the majority floor leader's motion. All those in favor, say aye. aye. All those opposed, 
Motion carries. The House is adjourned. The House is adjourned until 10 a.m. Thursday, the 12th of January. Thank you.